If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of more movie related videos. Thank you. What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again and today's video is just going to be another shopping thrifting for movies video. Not too sure what we're going to do yet so without further ado let's you know uh, go to wherever we're going to go to today. See wherever the day takes us and uh, yeah hopefully we can get some good deals. All right, we're, we are inside Savers right now, and I actually found quite a few things here. I'm really surprised because the last couple times I've been here have not really been that great to me. So uh, let's take a look and see what they have. I actually grabbed a whole bunch of stuff already, including some 3D Blu-rays that I didn't already have yet. But uh, the first couple things that kind of stick out to me here are these movies right here, These this set. Uh... Ilias, Nick and Nora, two documentary profiles. Obviously, I'm thinking that this is a uh, The Thin Man with William Powell. I'm thinking that this was probably some sort of set that somebody had. There's After the Thin Man, Another Thin Man, um, Guilt Trip's not part of that, that's Seth Rogen, uh, Shadow of the Thin Man, The Thin Man Goes Home, Song of the Thin Man, and then there's this documentary thing here, which is kind of neat but I don't know if this is supposed to be part of a set though so I'm probably not gonna pick any of those up but what else have they got here I've got some blu-rays here those ones aren't anything special um, one other thing I noticed here is that they actually have a good amount of horror movies like I don't know if this is really a horror movie or not Red Riding Hood um, The Ring 2, Saw 4, um, Sleepwalkers I do already have that so I'm not gonna grab that um, what's they got here? Seinfeld, you know, just a whole bunch of Prom Night, The Grudge 2. And then if we go down here, this one kind of stuck out to me, Heart of Dixie. I tried to see if this one was worth anything, but it doesn't appear to be. I'm just going to go down here and uh, check the disc. It looks to be in okay shape, but I don't know if it's really something I'm kind of interested in so I'm probably just gonna hold off on that one. Uh, Biggie Man, Deliver Us From Evil. What's this one here? Fall Down Dead. Mm, that was from Roger's video. Uh, Blood Rain Curse. So yeah, you guys kind of get the idea. There's a whole bunch of horror movies here. Uh, tai Chi Zero from the creators of It Man and Detective D. There's that one. It's from uh, Well Go Release. And then this is where I found a whole bunch of, um, or a couple of 3D Blu-rays at least, and they actually have some pretty good things in here, like the Lazarus Effect. I haven't heard too much about this movie, but, um, 2013, I doubt this is good, so probably gonna put that back. It's from D Films. Um, this thing actually kind of stuck out to me, this documentary here, Cobain Montage of Heck, but I don't know if this is going to play in my player if I were to get this, because... I think it was actually in it was mint, yeah, except for like that one little thumbprint there. It's actually in pretty good shape, but I can tell that it's a uh, like a region two release, so I don't know. Probably not going to grab that. I don't know if that's going to play or not. This I should probably check out. Honey, we shook ourselves, and honey, I blew up the kid. I'm just gonna go down here and check the conditions. Yeah. Ugh. So, Honey, We Shunk Ourselves, this, uh, you know, a whole bunch of fingerprints there. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to hold off on that. I might check that just to see how much that's worth, but, um, other than that, there's another 3D Blu right here, which I already have, so I don't need to grab it, but it's Texas Chainsaw, the 2013 one, and there's actually a Dark Knight Steelbook. Is this autographed? I don't know who that is. Michael... This, I don't know. That looks like it's autographed, so I don't know. I don't know who that is. Michael, Michael Uslan? Something like that. I don't know. That's, that's actually kind of cool. But apparently it's Terori, Best Bat Wishes. And it's signed by somebody from tw in 2011. So I don't know, I might have to check that after if that is autographed but 
yeah, other than that, that seems to be about it for over here. On into Savers, so let's go in inside and see what they have. Okay, we are in the next Savers right now, and I actually found quite a few things here. I'm really surprised, but uh, let's just take it slowly here. Let's take it slowly, and let's take a look and see what they have over here. And um, first things first, we're going to start off with is, I think, this Titanic set here. The Special Collector's Edition, which is actually a really nice set. I'm really surprised, but of course, it's Titanic. You see it, like, pretty much everywhere, so... And I already have it on Blu-ray, so obviously I don't need to pick this up, but... Uh, you know, everybody's seen Titanic. Everybody likes it. I like it, so... There is that. And there's actually quite a few Blu-rays here. This is just the starting... Um, you know, this is just the start here, but uh, looks like there's nothing here that I'm interested in. And if we go down here, uh, there's this kind of interesting thing here. Uh, yeah, with one of the Jonas Brothers in here. And it looks like this is a, a Burn On Demand title, which is the things you like get from Amazon or whatever. And, uh, yeah, apparently this is a DirecTV original series, so, I don't know what this is, it looks like some kind of mixed martial arts kind of show. So there's that, and if we go down here, there are these things, so these are Woody Allen ones, Stardust Memories and Love and Death. And other than that, I think that's about it for the first uh, shelf here, so let's go take a look at what they have on the other side. All right, now let's take a look at the other side here, and starting off on the first shelf, I don't see too much here, and neither on the second shelf here. I do have a couple more Blu-rays, but nothing I'm interested in, and they do have a sealed copy of Lord of the Flies here, which I do already have. I'm pretty sure it's worth some bit of money still, but they got that here. Um, Peanuts Movies 4 Movie Collection, it's got all those ones in there. I think the discs were in pretty good shape for that one too. <clears throat> but this one I was a little disappointed in, The Good Son, which is a movie I've kind of sort of been looking for for a little while now. It's a movie I don't really see too often, but uh, I checked the disc here, and it doesn't look too bad from that side there, but when I flip the disc, yeah, you can see some scratches in there, so unfortunately, I'm not going to pick that one up, so let's put that one back. And that's about it for that shelf, so now we can go down here. Looks like somebody got rid of all the Scream movies. Um, yeah, Scream 2, 3, and 4. And let's see if we keep going here. Once again, I did find some pretty neat stuff here. What's this? Garage Days. This is from the same director of The Crow. I don't know what that is. And we keep going here. Uh, out of, or like from the stuff that I grabbed here, it was actually some pretty cool things, but I don't really see too much to talk about here. So we'll go up to the shelf now. Hopefully, I can find some more stuff to talk to you guys about. Looks like somebody got rid of two seasons of The Sopranos. So here's the first season and season six, part two. Um, more Blu-rays here, including like the new version of Pet Cemetery that came out last year when the remake came out. Uh, a couple seasons of Game of Thrones on DVD though. If these were on Blu-ray, the seasons 5 and 6, probably would have grabbed those, but they need to be Blu-ray though. And other than that, a couple more Blu-rays here, nothing too special though. Um, even more Blu-rays, but again, there's actually a steelbook here that I did grab, so... You guys will see that when I get home. A uh, couple more Blu-rays. And down here, this is almost at the end. Um, kind of some weird stuff here like Surfer Dude with Matthew McConaughey. Uh, a couple of TV show seasons, The 100, Two Broke Girls. And this is the last shelf here. So yeah, nothing. Nothing too much to talk about. American Pimp. I don't know what that is. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for here. Okay, next stop is Goodwill, so let's go in inside and see what they have. Okay, guys, I'm just going to film really quickly in here because this is inside Goodwill, and 
there's not really too much to talk about. I'm like, it's just roasting in here and uh, I kind of have to go. So uh, there's actually a couple of Blu-rays here. That's kind of neat. There's Snow White and the Huntsman, uh, Tron the Original Classic, The Proposal, and then The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which are not actually that bad of a selection. I didn't even notice these here before, but there's uh, those ones. So just put those there and uh, yeah, up top here, I don't see anything worth talking about, but I thought those Blu-rays were kind of, you know, neat to see. And if we go down here, uh, once again, I don't see anything worth talking about. A couple more Blu-rays there, like Braveheart and Transformers. And right here, nothing again. Um, probably the worst thrift store we've been to so far. More Blu-rays there, like Jack Reacher. Sorry, I think this is out of focus. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, Iron Man, Jack Reacher, um, G4s, stuff like that. A couple of HD DVDs kind of mixed in here too. And nothing down here. Doesn't look like anything down here. Sorry, this is really out of focus. And I think this is just there. Uh, TV show shelf here, just kind of the same stuff you always see at thrift stores. Um, Boardwalk Empire, the complete second season, and Mad Men season two. Once again, nothing really worth talking about. Uh, Lucas is a pretty good movie, I like that one, but again, I do already have the movie, so I don't need that. And down here, nothing again. And then, last couple shelves here. Um, that's pretty much what that looks like. Nothing again. Nothing worth talking about. Just trying to give you guys a good view here of what they have. And that's about it for over here. Last stop of the day is our last saver. So let's go on inside and see what they have. I actually haven't been to this location in a while now. Okay, today was a pretty solid day of thrifting. I just got back home from doing all my shopping and uh, I found quite a bit of stuff here. So I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to show two piles of stuff in this video. The first pile is the stuff that I got today. And if you stick around until, or if you stick around until after I'm done, this first pile of the stuff that I got today. I will also be showing you guys an extra pile of stuff that I've just kind of accumulated over the past couple weeks. So basically, this is technically a movie pickups episode and a shopping thrifting for movies episode compiled into one. So just a nice little surprise for you guys here. So I'm going to go through the stuff that I got today first. And then after that, if you guys stick around, you'll probably want to stay tuned for this next pile is uh, some stuff that I just accumulated over the past couple of weeks. So, without further ado, let's get started. I will go through all of the Blu-rays I picked up first. I picked up six Blu-rays and eight DVDs today, so I'll go through the Blu-rays first. And, uh, the first couple of Blu-rays here are Steelbooks, surprisingly enough. And, uh, the first one here I had to grab. You'll see why in a minute. I think you guys already saw it in, uh, when I was actually thrifting. And the second one here, I don't think I showed you guys. This is another steelbook that I found. So we'll go, we'll take a look at that one next. But the first one here I want to show you guys is the steelbook that I did show you guys in my shopping portion. And yes, it is a Blu-ray steelbook here. And that is The Dark Knight. Yes, I ended up picking up this steelbook here because I did a little bit of research in the store here to figure out whose autograph this actually is because, yes, this is autographed, as you can see right there. I'm not too sure where this is autographed. I do know when it was autographed, though, and who it was autographed by. This was autographed in 2011, and this is autographed by Michael Uslan. And I did a little bit of research when I was still inside the thrift store just to see who exactly this is and I figured out and actually it's on the back as well on the like the casting block or whatever you call it that Michael Uslan is actually the executive producer of this movie so definitely a cool thing to have in my collection here unfortunately though the only thing that I don't like about this is that it's personalized it's made out to 
um, somebody named Rory. But if you can read what it says on there, it says to Rory, best bat wishes, Michael Use line 2011 on there, and then like a bat symbol is drawn over top of it. But yeah, I just figured I had to pick this one up here because this is just such a cool thing. I don't have too much autograph stuff in my collection, if pretty much at all. Like, I think this is the first, like, autographed piece of media that I have in my collection. So this is definitely special. I do have one other autograph thing in my collection. Technically, it's my parents, but they, they gave it to me, though. It is a dollar bill signed by Frank Vincent, who you might have saw in movies like uh, Goodfellas and Casino and Sopranos as well. But this is the first actual, like, media that I have signed in my collection here, and it is signed by the executive producer of this movie. And I believe he's executive produced some of the other Batman movies as well. I'm not too sure. I might have to check after, but you can... It's probably way out of focus, but you can see it right here under the executive producers. It says, executive producer is Benjamin Melnicker, and then it says Michael E. Uslan on here, which is the guy that signed it. And, of course, that's enough about the autograph here. I just thought it was super cool, but onto the movie. What's there to be said that hasn't already been said about this movie? It's The Dark Knight. Everybody's seen it, I'm sure, and, you know, great movie. I really enjoy it, but um, there's only one disc in here, just the Blu-ray disc, and I'll pop this out so I can show you guys the backing artwork here. And that's what it looks like, so you can see... Uh, Batman riding his bat cycle, I think it's called. I haven't seen the movie in a long time, so I should I should probably check this one out again or rewatch it. But uh, yeah, the Dark Knight here just what's there to be said? There's everybody you know loves this movie. I really like it, and it's just a really nice looking steelbook. You got the Joker right there, and then you have him kind of crashing out of uh, like a, a building right there with the bat pod. Yeah, it's called the Bat Pod, not the Bat Cycle. But yeah, Dark Knight Steelbook here that is signed by the executive producer. Gotta love that. I knew I had to pick that up as soon as I found that. And it's a really nice looking Steelbook as well. I already have a copy of the Dark Knight in my collection, which is the three discs. So it has the movie, the special features disc, and then it has um, the digital copy, which obviously doesn't work now. But yeah, so that's the Dark Knight Steelbook there. And then the next steelbook, or next one and final steelbook I have to show you guys is this one here, and this is Chappie, which is another movie I do already have a copy of in my collection. However, unlike The Dark Knight, the other copy that I have right now of Chappie, which is basically just like in a standard Blu-ray case, I'll probably will be getting rid of that, maybe selling it to Revolver or something like that, but... And uh, I'll be keeping the Steelbook here because it has the Blu-ray and the digital code in here already. So I'll just give this one away to you guys if you live in Canada and if you want to have a free code. If you can pause and maybe make that out, then there you go. I don't know exactly how to... I guess I could probably... Did that solve anything? If you can read that code, pause and read that and there's a free code for you. So there is... Uh, Chappie right there, so I'll just probably get this back into focus here. And I'll take out all the other stuff here so I can show you the um, artwork inside. That's pretty much what it looks like, so it's just a whole bunch of kind of graffiti-ish kind of drawings. This is a movie I have not yet seen. I've seen the director of this movie, Neil Blomkamp. I've seen his other two movies. He's only done three movies in his career, and after this one, he kind of just disappeared. I don't know why, like, this movie kind of got mixed reviews, and I don't think it really did so hot at the box office, but I'm just surprised he just kind of disappeared after this movie because he was set to do a Halo movie. He was set to do, I think, a Robocop remake, so he was set to do a whole bunch of stuff, but he just kind of dropped off the face of the earth, and we haven't really heard anything from him ever again. But uh, yeah, so basically only made three movies, and that was it, and the other two were District 9 and Elysium, both of which I really enjoyed, and this one I have not yet seen, so I should probably check it out here soon. But this is pretty much what the Steelbook looks like. It's actually a pretty sweet looking Steelbook, but yeah, I'll be keeping the Steelbook of this, but my other Blu-ray I'll probably end up selling. So that's it for the Steelbooks. I spent seven minutes already talking about those, so let's get on to the Blu-rays. And I picked up four kind of, I guess, standard Blu-rays. These ones I probably won't be spending too much time on. So we can get to the DVDs that I picked up. So the first Blu-ray I picked up here 
is, or it still has the slipcover and everything. It's a horror movie, and I have the prequel to this one. And I have seen the prequel. It was actually pretty good. I was pretty surprised with it. However, this one I have not seen, and I've heard it's pretty bad. So we'll see once I end up watching it. And that is Ouija here, not Oija or we or Oi, you know, Oija or whatever. Two Ojo board works? How we can do plan chit with thought using Ouija board? Is it dangerous to play Oija board? Ouija. Ouija. And I have Ouija Origin of Evil, which is kind of the prequel slash well i guess it's more of a prequel i wouldn't say it's like a sequel but i do have ouija origin of evil in my collection but i did not have the first ouija movie yet so i just wanted to pick this one up because i found it cheap it still has the digital code and everything which i have yet to redeem but both discs are still in there and they were in pretty good shape so i thought i'd pick it up here uh, these Blumhouse ones, the horror movies, are kind of a mixed bag for me. I know a lot of people really like them, but there's some I really like, some I didn't really care for. And, uh, yeah, so basically some of them are kind of a mixed bag, but nothing really much to say about Ouija. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not worth anything. It's just a horror movie based off the board game, so, like, the very popular board game. So, yeah, Ouija here, it still has the slipcover and everything, which is good. So, there's that. And now we'll, the last couple that I'll be showing you are actually 3D movies that I will be adding to, or I have added to my collection now. So the first one here is one of these DreamWorks ones, and these are pretty hard to find. I don't know why, but they just kind of are. Uh, the first one here is the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, and digital copy deluxe edition combo pack of Turbo here. And I haven't heard too many things about this movie. If you guys have seen it, leave a comment down below. All of these newer DreamWorks movies, I haven't seen most of them. I think the last DreamWorks animated movie, to be honest, that I watched, like the newest one, was Madagascar 3, maybe. And, uh, yeah, that was it. Because I think that came out in, what, 2012? And then the, the ones that came out the year after, I think that would have been The Croods, and then this one... I never ended up watching any of these, so technically I think the last, like the newest DreamWorks animated movie that I watched was Madagascar 3, and since then I haven't watched any of them, but uh, yeah, it still has all three discs in here, I don't know if the, okay, so this is a one that has a digital copy disc in here, so it might not work, but yeah, you still have all of the discs in here, Blu-ray 3D, and then the regular Blu-ray and the DVD and the digital copy disc. So yeah, this one, a lot of these DreamWorks 3D ones, they're kind of hard to find, so I was happy to find a copy of Turbo to add to my collection. I don't know much about it other than the fact that I think it has Ryan Reynolds in it, and it's a movie about snails racing. Next one here is another movie I already have in my collection, so I decided to upgrade to the 3D version, and that is the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, and digital copy combo pack of the Divergent series Insurgent here. I've seen all three of these movies. I think they're supposed to make a fourth one, but they never did. It was, I can't remember what it was supposed to be called, but I knew they were supposed to be making a fourth one. They never ended up doing that. So it just, you know, it kind of got canned after the last movie was panned and it bombed at the box office. I think a lot, the young adult movie kind of craze was wearing off by the time these movies came out. They were kind of a little late to the party with these. But, uh, yeah, it's still got all three discs in here, but the copy of Insurgent that I already have, I'll probably just be taking out the digital copy that I already have and popping it in here, and I'll be selling my other copy of that, so, or, like, just the regular Blu-ray of it. So now that I have the 3D, I can get rid of my other copy. So that is the Divergent series Insurgent. Uh, I don't remember that one being particularly that great, but it's a 3D one to add to my collection, nonetheless, because I do have Step Up in my collection, so quality standards <laughs> but uh yeah next one here is another dreamworks 3d title so i've been finding these you know quite often now and it's the blu-ray 3d blu-ray dvd and digital copy 3d edition of rise of the guardians here and this one i remember wait this is from is this from wait yeah this is from 2012 too so maybe Maybe Rise of the Guardians, I think, was the last DreamWorks animated one I've seen. Because I remember I did I did watch Rise of the Guardians. And it was, from what I can remember, eh, but I always have to add 3D titles to my collection. And I, th 
I might want to give this one a rewatch here soon. I think it's a well-liked movie, so I should probably give it a rewatch. But when I first watched it back in 2012 when it came out, it was kind of... Mm, but uh, yeah, Rise of the Guardians here. It's based off a popular children's book. And it's also executive produced by Guillermo del Toro as well. So that's kind of cool. I think Puss in Boots, he also executive produced as well. So there's Rise of the Guardians. That's it for the Blu-rays for this first pile here. So now we will get on to all of the DVDs that I picked up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be spending too much time on these, but we'll see how it goes. So first one here, very common DVD. I just wanted to grab it for my collection because everybody's kind of been going crazy about it. They just released a sequel not too long ago, I think last month. And uh, it's definitely a popular horror movie for sure. And just one I didn't have in my collection yet. And that is The Craft, the special edition here. I don't think there's any other version of it anyways. Um, this is a reprint, as you can see right here. Well, it's, it's not a reprint, but... It's in one of these eco boxes, so somebody obviously bought this from like Walmart or Best Buy or something from their $5 bin. And um, yeah, pretty much got rid of it. I haven't seen anything about it. I don't know much about it either, other than the fact I think it's about like witchcraft or something. But uh, yeah, the craft here on DVD. Next one here, I got maybe a couple things to say about because it's worth, it's worth a little bit of money. I think it's out of print as well. And it's a mini-series here, a Stephen King mini-series to be exact. And that is Stephen King's Desperation here. I don't see this one very often, so I figured I'd have to pick it up once I saw it. And I eventually did, so that's why I ended up grabbing it. Unfortunately, it's got like a Rogers Video sticker on here that I probably cannot get off. But for being a former rental, it's actually in pretty decent shape. I see a couple of light scratches on here. Nothing, I don't think that would probably affect playback, but other than that, other than a few scratches, it's actually in pretty good shape, which I'm really surprised about. So that is Stephen King's Desperation. It's rare and out of print. It goes, I saw a couple of listings on eBay. I don't think any, any of them sold, but a couple of them went for like 15 bucks. So not too much, but it's still out of print anyways. Next one here I picked up basically because it was also worth money and... It's a multi-feature set here, and these are just some movies that I don't see very often, so I figured I'd have to pick them up as well. It's in a nice red case as well, and this is the Peanuts Movies 4 movie collection. So these are the four theatrically released Charlie Brown movies here, or Peanuts. So on here you get Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back, A Boy Named Charlie Brown, and Snoopy Come Home. And like I said, all of these were theatrically released. And uh, it's also in a really nice red case as well. So here's the inside. So you have, what is this, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, uh, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back. Then you have A Boy Named Charlie Brown and Snoopy Come Home on these discs here. And for being a, like, a kid's DVD as well, I was expecting these to be probably, you know, I would probably liken these to coasters, but they were actually in mint shape, so... Hopefully somebody that, you know, whoever bought this, gave it a good home and, you know, didn't really touch them. Basically unwrapped the shrink wrapper, had it sit on the shelf for a couple of years and then just donated it. But I saw one listing of it on eBay and it's actually worth $25. So that's kind of odd, but it's, uh, you know, it's a DVD that I don't really see too often anymore. I remember when this came out, but I haven't seen it since in like Best Buy or Walmart or anything. So that's why I decided to pick this up here, and it is from 2016, so basically when I started my channel. So there is the Peanuts Movies 4 Movie Collection. Alright, let's get to a couple of more movies here. Actually, we'll go through this other multi-feature set. We'll go through a couple more movies, and then uh, some TV show sets that I picked up. So this next double feature set I picked up was Rumble in the Bronx and The Corrupter. So... Two, I guess, like, kind of kung fu-ish movies. They're not related or anything like that. Because Rumble in the Bronx has Jackie Chan in it, and then The Corrupter has Chow Yun-Fat. But I've been... I basically... The only reason why I bought this set was because of Rumble in the Bronx. I've heard that's supposed to be a pretty good movie. I haven't seen too many Jackie Chan movies, so I should probably fix that here soon. But this is brand new Factory Sealed, so just figured I'd pick this one up here. It says, two great movies on one DVD, so yeah, unfortunately no bonus features on here because they have to fit two movies on one disc, 
But yeah, basically I bought this for Rumble in the Bronx, and that's pretty much about it. The Corruptor, I guess, is a nice bonus, I guess. So let's go through a couple more movies here, and then we will end this pile with a couple of TV shows. Um, first one here I got is just kind of a corny 80s you know, action movie. I don't see this one very often, so I picked it up, and that is Code of Silence here, starring um, the great Chuck Norris and everybody making jokes about him, you know. When Chuck Norris does push-ups, he's not actually doing push-ups, he's pushing the ground, or pushing the earth down, or something like that. I probably, you know, ruined that joke, I probably really botched the execution of that joke, but, uh, yeah, you get what I mean, it's Chuck Norris, everybody loves Chuck Norris, right? But this comes on a flipper disc, unfortunately, I did a rant video a few years ago on flipper discs and how much I hate them. But yeah, side A, widescreen, side B, full screen. I don't know who would want to watch the the full screen version of a movie. But I guess if you have a CRT, if you're watching it on a CRT, which I highly doubt anybody had in 2007, you may as well just press a new disc. But, you know, whatever, laziness on MGM's part, I guess. But Code of Silence here, I haven't seen the movie. It's just a movie I don't see very often, and I just wanted to add to my collection. And this next one here, a viewer. I can't remember the name right now. I might put his name or I might put their name in as like a caption down below here a viewer actually told me to get this one so I ended up getting it I finally found a copy that was in good shape it wasn't used as a coaster or anything like that it was actually minty fresh and this is the Vista series release of M. Night Shyamalan's The Village M. Night Shyamalan is kind of a joke now or at least he was when he did Last Airbender but I think he's kind of redeemed himself with doing like uh, split to that so you know you never know M. Night Shyamalan kind of a mixed bag as a director but I've heard not too bad things about this one it's I've heard it's not like Sixth Sense or Unbreakable or anything like that or Signs but it's I've heard it's a perfectly decent movie and I think it was actually the last one I needed out of the Vista series line because now I think I have all of them because there's Pearl Harbor there was Tombstone and pretty much, like, M. Night Shyamalan's early movies were all put out on the Vista series line. So I think I have pretty much all of them now. So that is The Village. I haven't seen this one yet, but I've heard the twist is kind of dumb in that movie. So there's that. And the last couple things here for this pile that I have to show you are a couple of TV show seasons. So the first one here I showed you guys when I was doing my thrifting portion and that is a show called Kingdom, the complete season one. And from what I was, or from what I saw here when I was checking the discs, because uh, I usually always do that to see if they're actually going to play. They're actually DVD-Rs because you can see they're kind of like that purplish kind of color. So this kind of tells me that these were burn on demand things that were probably bought off Amazon. Because I think Amazon has a program where you can kind of order these direct to you know dvd kind of things and you know like a lot of these like kind of less popular movies and shows get these like warner archive and these uh kind of burn on demand releases here which is the telltale sign of that is the purple discs here so it's pretty much what they look like and uh yeah it gives you the opportunity to you know maybe get some underrated shows or underrated movies or something like that that never have seen a theater or not a theatrical release um an actual dvd release so it's kind of nice of amazon to offer that and kind of do this in conjunction with the different studios i've heard the show was supposed to be pretty good as well i think it's actually on netflix there's three seasons and I don't, yeah, like, three seasons obviously didn't last for very long, but yeah, Kingdom, I've heard it's pretty good. It's got a not-too-bad cast here. You get Frank Grillo as the main character in here, and you also get Nick Jonas, who is surprisingly enough front and center on here, even though I don't really think it's about him. But yeah, Kingdom is apparently on DirecTV, so who knows what the quality is like, but I've heard it's good, though. And the last show I have to show you for this pile is actually my show that I'm watching right now on Netflix. And I thought I'd pick up a DVD copy of it because I never see these Netflix DVDs out anywhere besides like Walmart and that. This one in particular I haven't seen very often. But this is season one of 13 Reasons Why. And this is a show that's kind of had a lot of controversy going for it. And I'm watching it right now. I'm on episode three, so not too far into it, 
but I just wanted to watch it just to check it out because I've heard pretty good things about the first season. And then once season two starts, then it kind of goes, I've heard it goes way downhill. But the discs were in pretty good shape here, all four discs with 13 episodes on them. So uh, yeah, 13 Reasons Why Season 1 here. Heard pretty good things about, but the other ones are not very good to say the least. That's definitely an understatement, but yeah, 13 Reasons Why. It's based off the book of the same name. So that was all the stuff that I got today. So now I will go through a bonus pile of just kind of pickups I've accumulated over the past couple of weeks. And I'll save this for last. It's actually a really cool thing that I want to show you. But for this pile here, I've got six more DVDs to show you and four more Blu-rays. So let's get started with the Blu-rays here. So the first one, Blu-ray and Digital HD combo pack of Arrival. And this is a movie that I've been wanting to upgrade to Blu-ray for a little while now. I just never got the chance to pick this one up. Uh, I did actually end up grabbing it during the one of the library books to buy sales. They didn't have any of them this year because of COVID. Everything was shut down. We were in lockdown and everything. And the library only reopened in August. So they've only been open for a couple months now. And I did go there. I picked up some movies. And that was the only trip that I took to the library during the summer. And now, of course, with school and everything, I haven't been able to you know, go to the library or anything or rent stuff because I don't necessarily have time to watch too many movies. But uh, yeah, I, anyways, that was just kind of a little tangent, but I picked up the a DVD of Arrival last year, I think, at one of their books to buy sales. I kind of miss, I kind of miss those as well because it kind of provided me an opportunity to grab some stuff that I didn't already have in my collection. But the disc was kind of scratched, so, and I also wanted this on Blu-ray as well. So I thought I'd finally decide to upgrade this one to Blu-ray. And it is complete and everything. It's got the code in here, and it's got the disc. And this was a really good movie as well. If you have not seen this one, I'd highly recommend checking it out because it is a really good movie. It's kind of almost like an anti-sci-fi movie. Like, if you don't like sci-fi, I think you'd probably like this one because it's kind of sci-fi-ish, but kind of not really, though. So that is Arrival, because it has to do with aliens and that, but it's not necessarily, like, really sci-fi. Like, it's not like Star Trek or something like that, but it's a really good movie. And next one here is one that I haven't heard too great of things about. Once again, that's another understatement, but this is Point Break here. This being the 2015 remake. And I can't remember if this had a 3D release or not. It, it was released in theaters in 3D. I don't know if it got a whole media release on 3D though, but I've seen the original Point Break from 1990, the one with Keanu and Patrick Swayze. Wasn't really a big fan of it though. Like, I really like action movies. That one was kind of, eh, maybe I should probably give it a rewatch sometime. But I thought I'd pick up the 2015 remake as well. Um, nobody in this movie is really kind of sticking out to me, but yeah, Point Break here, I've heard is not that great but I've heard some of the scenes are pretty good so I don't know maybe I'll check it out over Christmas break or something like that and the next two blu-rays or the last two blu-rays I have to show for this video are IMAX titles and I actually will show them to you both at the same time so they're double packs here so as presented in IMAX theaters so the first one here we have Africa the Serengeti and Australia land land beyond time so there's the first one and then the next one here, we have Alaska, Spirit of the Wild, and Antarctica, an adventure of different nature. So these are two kind of lesser known IMAX titles. Not very many people probably know about these, but these are IMAX titles. So if you went to like the Space and Science Center or something, these would be the ones that they would show in like their big dome theaters or something like that. Or even if they just had a regular IMAX theater, then they would probably most likely show these movies in them. Like, they're they're not feature length. They're not too long. They're only about, like, probably 30 to 45 minutes each. So they're not too long. You're only spending them, you're only spending, like, less than an hour in the theater watching them. And then, you know, maybe some of your science theaters might even show some newer movies, like, you know, Avengers or something like that. Mine does. But... Yeah, most of the time they basically show these IMAX documentaries in here, which should probably be visually stunning on that big of a screen because it's like, what, 
like five stories tall. But yeah, both of them, they come on two discs here. So it's it's also kind of nice to see some like different IMAX movies. A lot of the ones that I see are just the Warner Brothers ones that I have like most of already. Like it's just, oh wow, great, I found some more IMAX titles. But there is the other one inside. So those are both of those ones right there. So I'll just go ahead and put those off to the side. And the next one that I got here is a horror movie, or we're going to the DVDs now. So the next one here is Pet Cemetery 2. I do have the original Pet Cemetery on Blu-ray, but not the not this one. I didn't have this one yet, which is the sequel to it. And there was also the remake from last year. I watched that one, didn't really care for it, so didn't end up grabbing that on Blu-ray. But this one here, besides some kind of weird-looking scratches, the disc was mint. And it is also a horror movie that I don't usually see too often. So that is Pet Cemetery 2 starring and you know a younger Everett Furlong. So there's that one. Next one up here is just another kind of random-ish movie that I picked up. That I kind of wanted for my collection. Kind of looked funny so thought I'd pick it up and I don't see it too often. And that is Renaissance Man starring Danny DeVito. And yeah nothing too much to say about that. This one, however, I do have some stuff to say about, and this is a History Channel documentary here, and this is, this one looked kind of interesting. I don't know if there's any more of these or not, but this is Mankind, the Story of All of Us. This one seemed really interesting because it kind of goes back to, like, the beginning of civilization. So, it says on the back here, from the producers of America, the Story of Us, this 12-hour series on history spans the first flourishing of civilization in Mesopotamia all the way to this, to the discovery of America, so... Doesn't sound too bad. It kind of sounds solid. But it looks like there's experience more mankind. So it looks like there's like a book and there's like comics and you can get like a maybe like an ebook or something like that. But it comes on three discs here. So you have, you know, like four, four different, uh, you know, documentaries on one disc here. So there is Mankind, the story of us. So yeah, four, four little documentaries to a disc for a total of, you know, 12 episodes. So there is Mankind, the story of all of us. Kind of sounded pretty interesting and I think it was worth a little bit of money as well. So there's that one. Next one I got here is another one to add to my Disney collection and that is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I couldn't believe I didn't have this one in my collection yet, but I finally have a copy of it. I was looking for the Platinum Edition, the one that was in like the one inch thick cases, but I never found a good copy of it. It was always, discs were used as coasters. But this one here, this is the... I don't even know like what you would even call this one. It just says Snow White and the Seven Dwarves 2 disc DVD. Like there's nothing really saying about what it is. Maybe this is the... I don't know, because it looks like there's some older DVDs in here, because it still has, like, the Disney Enhanced 2009 DVD release. So this might have been, like, a reissue of it. There's a Disney Movie Rewards code in here, which I will not be showing to you guys, because I do want to redeem that. But it looks like this is, like, an older release or something like that. I don't know, because it still has, like, the Disney Enhanced Home Theater Mix thing on here. But, uh, yeah, it's still got, like, a bonus feature disc and everything like that, and a whole bunch of special features. So, just figured I'd grab Snow White and the Seven Dwarves to finally add to my classic Disney collection. Still has a really nice slipcover as well, so you can see right there, it's nice and shiny and embossed and everything. So, that is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Two more DVDs here, and then I'll show you one more thing, and we are done for this video. So, this next one here, got this one before Halloween, so this is kind of outdated here, actually, both of these. Uh, first one is the widescreen unrated version of The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Just didn't have this one in my collection yet, so I thought I'd pick it up. And the disc was mint, so that is why I grabbed this one. I've heard it's also supposed to be a pretty good movie as well. So there is The Exorcism of Emily Rose. And finally, the last one here. have not seen this one, but it has both the theatrical and the unrated versions of it. And this is a movie called Teristas here. I haven't heard too many good things about this one. But it looked pretty interesting. They're going on like uh, a vacation in Brazil. And I think they're like drugged. And they, you know, uh, after a night of partying, the wayward turistas are drugged and robbed. And their dream vacation becomes a gruesome nightmare. I think they become like organ donors or something like that. 
Uh, this one here comes once again on a flipper disc. So this side has the widescreen rated version. And then the other side has the widescreen unrated version. So technically I could have just said the side that I was that it's on right now is the rated version. And the other side is the unrated version. So that is Turistas. So that is it for all the movies that I picked up for this video. And now I will show you one more thing that I ended up grabbing at Walmart. I just thought it was really cool. They had a whole bin of these. And I just decided to pick up the one that interested me the most. And this is actually a jigsaw puzzle. And it's 500 pieces. And it's one of these Blockbuster branded ones. And that is The Shining. This really nice looking puzzle. I haven't actually seen this poster for the movie before. But... If you're wondering what the other, um, if you're wondering what the other puzzles that they had in there, like some of the other ones, they have like Titanic, uh, Beetlejuice, Office Space, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, Titanic, Beetlejuice, Office Space, Flashdance, Footloose. They had a whole bunch of them here, but I decided to grab the Shining one. It's interested me the most, and uh, yeah, it's 500 pieces. Probably will take a little while to build but it's in like a really thick case here made to look like a vhs kind of like this uh blockbuster party game that i have is this uh it's from big potato games this is from cardinal so i guess everybody's using the blockbuster brand now because you can now that they're not a company you can just kind of use their logo for whatever you want now i guess i don't know but uh yeah the shining here these really cool blockbuster puzzles Anyway, though, that is about it for this video. So a whole bunch of stuff that I showed you guys, all the stuff that I picked up today, and a bonus movie pickups video, basically, all in one video, plus a really cool-looking poster. So that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will also be down below in the description of this video as well to check out what I've been watching recently. Also, if you're new to my channel or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. A new video every Tuesday and Friday. So, or, sorry, not Tuesday and Friday. Just Friday for right now. So anyway, though, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Hopefully, I can get to Tuesday and Friday videos again here soon, but that might not be till Christmas break. Anyway, though, that's it. We'll see you all next time.